From winning two Grand Slams and being at the top of the tennis world, to having a divorce and going through countless mental breakdowns, Simona Halep's tennis journey has been nothing short of a Hollywood blockbuster. But what went wrong in her tennis journey, and is there a chance for her to make a comeback? In this video, we're taking you guys through the rise and fall of Simona Halep. I just want to enjoy and uh, to believe that I have my chance to go through the end. Simona Halep is a professional tennis player from Romania who has established herself as one of the top female athletes in the sport. She was born on September 27, 1991 in Constanza, Romania and started playing tennis at a young age. Halep's journey into tennis began when she was just four years old. Her father, Stera Halep, who was a football player in a lower division in Romania and became a businessman later on, noticed her talent for the sport and became her first coach. Under his guidance, Simona developed her skills and passion for tennis. As a junior player, Halep had considerable success. She won several tournaments in her native Romania and won her first junior major competition at Roland Garros. Her impressive performances caught the attention of tennis professionals, and she turned professional in 2006 at the age of 15. In the early years of her professional career, Halep faced challenges and struggled to make a breakthrough. She climbed steadily in the rankings, but it wasn't until 2014 that she had her breakthrough season. That year, she reached the final of the French Open, her first Grand Slam final, but unfortunately lost to Maria Sharapova. Despite the loss, Halep's performance at the French Open propelled her into the tennis spotlight. The match was a treat for all the neutrals out there. Sharapova started the match powerfully, with her forehands and agility dominating the first set 6-4, but Halep fought back and took the second set 6-7, showcasing her talent. Sharapova, with all her experience and clay court supremacy, looked in the form of her life and won the final set 6-4. In 2018, Halep reached the pinnacle of her career when she won her first Grand Slam title at the French Open. She defeated Sloane Stephens in the final and became the first Romanian woman to win a major singles title since Virginia Ruzici in 1978. The match was a roller coaster ride with all the twists and turns. Stevens started the match strongly, winning the first set 6 3, and for a moment, Halep's confidence was looking down. But she was able to get herself together and brought her best game to the court, winning the second and third sets 6 4, 6 1, and winning the game. Halep's victory solidified her status as one of the best players in the world. Following her triumph at Roland Garros, Halep continued to excel on the tennis court. She reached the final of the Australian Open in 2018 and won the Wimbledon Championship in 2019, defeating Serena Williams in a memorable final. Halep's agile movement, exceptional defensive skills, and strategic gameplay make her a formidable opponent on any surface. The main influence on Simona Halep was her coach, Darren Cahill. Cahill has extensive experience in coaching top players, including his previous work with Leighton Hewitt and Andre Agassi, provided Halep with invaluable insights into handling the demands of elite-level tennis. Cahill emphasized the importance of maintaining a solid defensive foundation while also incorporating offensive weapons into her arsenal. He helped refine Halep's ground strokes, particularly her powerful and accurate backhand, as well as her court positioning and shot selection. Following her successes, the world of tennis was labeling Halep as the next big thing. She quickly made her way up to that number three spot in WTA career prize money leaders with more than $40 million obtained from tennis. She has been ranked world number one in singles twice between 2017 and 2019 for a total of 64 weeks, which ranks 12th in the history of the WTA rankings. She currently holds the second position among active players in the rankings, with the most weeks at the number one spot, trailing only Iga Swiatek. Simona was widely regarded as a tennis star who would redefine the tennis generation owing to her unique style of play. She was turning out to be a formidable force, and all the pundits had her on their winning lists in slams to come. But her journey was not all funs and roses. Soon, something would happen that would redefine her tennis career forever. In 2021, a mental breakdown brought Simona Halep close to retiring. Due to a calf injury, Halep was forced to miss the RO, Wimbledon, and even the Olympics. This was a major blow to her confidence. The calf injury severely impacted her as she believed it would be challenging to return to her previous level of performance after a four-month break from tennis. Moreover, turning 30 added to her contemplation of retirement. This was a big blow to her career. But her life changed when she visited the Patrick Moritoglo Academy in the south of France. 
She said, I thought I will be done with tennis at 30, but now I started something nice and new. Everything is Patrick Moritoglo now, the team. It's 100% him. Darren Cahill left Simona Halep due to multiple reasons, and this, along with her career-threatening injury, had a serious effect on her morale. But Patrick and his team played a major role in restoring her confidence. And just when everything seemed to be getting back on track, bad luck crossed Halep again. Halep suffered from a panic attack in the middle of her second round match at the 2022 French Open, and she was unable to recover, losing 6-2, 2-6, 1-6 to the 19-year-old Jung Chinwen. She was leading the match when the panic attack occurred and she even called the doctor on the court. Throughout the last two sets, Halep looked out of sorts and she was dealing with mental pressure. The situation had a heavy toll on Halep, and just after 11 months of marriage, she and her husband, Tony LaRouc, who is a Romanian business tycoon, decided to separate. LaRouc confirmed the split to Romanian reporters, saying that it was a mutual decision. When everyone thought that Simona was going through a worst-case scenario, she tested positive for the doping test conducted during the tournaments in North America specifically at the 2022 U.S. Open. According to an announcement from the Tennis Integrity Agency, responsible for overseeing drug testing in tennis, Simona Halep tested positive for Roxadustat, a drug frequently used to treat anemia, a condition characterized by low red blood cell count. Following the detection of the drug in her initial sample, Halep requested a second sample test, which confirmed the presence of Roxadustat in her system. Roxadustat is included in the list of prohibited substances due to its ability to artificially stimulate the production of hemoglobin and red blood cells. This method can enhance endurance and performance for athletes. This drug achieves this effect by increasing the body's production of erythropoietin, commonly known as EPO, a hormone crucial in the generation of red blood cells. Red blood cells are responsible for oxygen transportation throughout the body, and increased number of red blood cells can lead to improved endurance, which is why EPO has been widely associated with performance enhancement, particularly in professional cycling over the years. When the situation was already worse, Halep was now charged with a second doping charge over irregularities in her athlete biological passport in May 2023. Halep, however, has maintained her stance by stating that this is the worst nightmare of her life and that she has been a victim of contamination. This doping scandal has sent Halep into an abyss, and now that she's suspended, she thinks she might not be able to make a comeback, especially because her final dream was to captain her nation at the Fed Cup and to play at the Olympics in 2024. When asked about her current mental state and whether she'll be able to make a comeback, Halep said, the situation has been really hard. Emotionally, it's heavy. The stress is huge because I never thought I would face something like this. Emotionally, the whole period hasn't been easy and I just felt the need to speak out loud to my fans, to my supporters, and actually to the whole public," she said. The 31-year-old played her last match at the US Open in 2022 and since then she has been unable to make a comeback due to the doping scandal. Simona Halep has been one of the most popular tennis stars in the world WTA, and her influence has been unprecedented on tennis generations. But is this doping scandal the end of her career, or will she be able to make a comeback?